In this video, I will be demonstrating how we can utilize a free register space in the M580 hot standby derived data type to add additional monitoring conditions that may warrant a switch over from the primary to standby controller. My demo unit consists of a pair of level 4 M580 processors, each with an NOC311 module, an 8 port Modicon switch, and my PC which is using the latest version available of Control Expert XL. In Control Expert, the first step we need to do is to verify that the behavior of the standby controller is to execute the first section or all sections. If we leave the selection at no section, this will not work. Now I'll create a section which will come first in the solve order and name it Standby Diagnostics. Since this section is also solved by the standby controller, we'll only be moving the status word of the NOC311 module into the first free transfer register. Local registers in this use means that the primary and standby controllers are moving data to their respective local areas of memory. Now let's create the section that we'll be evaluating the statuses. I'll name it Swamp Diagnostics. First, I'll set the command run after transfer to always true. It isn't necessary to do this for this demonstration, but it is a useful tip to help improve workflow. This will automatically set the standby controller to run after a push of application from primary to standby. Next, I will create a tag to move the remote register value into it. This register contains the status information of the NOC module in the standby controller And finally, my conditional statement evaluating the conditions and whether it merits a switchover or not. For this scenario, I am only interested in the status of port 1 of the NOC module, which is located in bit 0 of both status words. Because we are using the CMD swap command, we must take note of its limitations. If we continuously swap the processors in intervals of less than 2 minutes, there runs a risk of halting both processors, so we'll add a timer to prevent that from happening. Now let's finally build the project, download to the controllers, and test its functionality. Now that I am online with a controller over Ethernet, I can see that the A controller is in run primary and the B controller is in run standby. Now I disconnect the Ethernet cable from the NOC module on the primary controller to simulate a failure. And when I reconnect, the B controller is now in run primary and the A controller is now in run standby.
In this example, I showcased using the NOC module to add switchover conditions, but this can be done with any conditions of your choosing. Thanks for watching the video.